Everyone's talking about how Regina King got political with her opening speech at the 2021 Oscars, and let's all agree that she also looked stunning while doing it. She now has another legendary red carpet look to add to the list with her sky blue Louis Vuitton dress that made her look like a modern day Cinderella. The actress won herself an Oscar back in 2019 for Best Supporting Actress, and just a year later celebrated her success by purchasing a brand new mansion in the Hollywood Hills, where she currently still lives. Today we'll be checking out where Regina calls home. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Regina King is an actress and director who's received several awards already, including an Academy Award, a Golden Globe, and much more. She first gained recognition for her role in the TV series 227 back in the 80s and roles in films like Jerry Maguire followed that. Regina also played supporting roles in movies like Boys in the Hood, Legally Blonde 2, A Cinderella Story, and more. From 2015 to 2017, the actress started in the ABC series American Crime, for which she took home two Primetime Emmy Awards. Regina's role as a troubled mother in the 28 film If Beale Street Could Talk won her the Oscar for Best Supporting Actress. Not only has Regina found success as an actress, she's also a director, and has directed episodes for several TV shows like Scandal and This Is Us. Her feature film directorial debut was for the drama One Night in Miami, which came out in 2020. For the 2021 Oscars, Regina presented an award for the evening and joined her cast and crew from One Night in Miami on the red carpet to celebrate its own nominations. These included a Best Supporting Actor nomination for Leslie Odom Jr. and a nomination for Regina herself for Best Director. And I'm sure this film is just the beginning for what Regina plans to direct in the future. At the time of this recording, Regina's net worth is estimated at $12 million or more, so it's no surprise that last year she acquired herself a gorgeous new property in Hollywood that overlooks the LA city lights. Hey guys, it's Care the Vampire Slayer and I'm bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell, we post a new video daily. Today we'll be checking out where Oscar winning actress Regina King calls home including her current villa in Los Angeles and more. On this channel we talk about celebrity houses but if you want to know about their other lavish purchases or the latest trends in their outfits, go subscribe to Famous Fashion where myself and some other hosts are reporting on all things celebrity fashion and purchases. The most disturbing thing about these Lil Nas X Satan shoes, they report contain one drop of human blood somewhere on the soles and not the metaphorical type as usual don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video Aside from the house we're going to be looking at, it said that Regina formerly lived in a smaller home in the Los Feliz neighborhood of LA. Apparently, she continues to own this abode, but there's little to no information about it online. Los Feliz is a relaxed hillside neighborhood that attracts both established individuals and up-and-comers, and it's pretty trendy. There are many hip shops, cafes, and spots like the Vista Theater, a movie palace from 1923. Los Feliz also borders Griffith Park, which is perfect for hiking, stargazing at the observatory, and for concerts at the Greek Theater. What we know about Regina's home here was that it was situated at the foot of a hill, and while it wasn't too far from the street, it still offered her secluded serenity. In an interview she had with the New York Times, they wrote about her home. A grapefruit tree guards the property. Off the rear patio is a small room with a vintage Pac-Man console and a signed LP of Prince's Controversy on the wall. Property records also show that Regina purchased the property in 2013 for just under $1.5 million, and it's quite a bit smaller than her current residence, built in a 1930s Spanish bungalow style. Either way, the house she upgraded to in 2020 sounds even more impressive, so we're just gonna take a look at that. Just last year, Regina treated herself to a newly remodeled mansion located in Hollywood while maintaining her smaller Los Feliz property. Her current home cost her over $4 million and of course has plenty of space to put all her trophies on display. The property is secure and hidden behind large gates just above Beechwood Canyon, a community in the Hollywood Hills. This is in the northern portion of Hollywood and the upper portion of the canyon is the Hollywoodland community that was advertised back in the 1920s by what is now known as the Hollywood sign. The neighborhood boasts its own market, cafe, florist, and stables. Regina's beautiful home was built back in 1926 and fully remodeled recently, combining vintage charm and updated high class finishes. There is plenty of space in the 4,500 square foot abode. There are lots of stairs to walk up and down. Interiors offer up 5 bedrooms and 5.5 bathrooms over 3 levels. 
levels. You enter her house via the top level where a skylit entryway leads to the roomy formal living and dining areas. The living room is almost 35 feet long and boasts wood beamed vaulted ceilings and ultimate space to relax and entertain. There's also a small wet bar here and a beautiful asymmetrical fireplace. Walk over to the far end of this room and there are French doors leading out to only one of the balconies, giving picture perfect views over the trees. The nearby dining room, which also offers balcony access, has room to entertain about 8 to 10 guests comfortably and a modern light fixture overhead. Next is the kitchen where Regina can cook in the bright space thanks to all the skylights here too. The kitchen is expensive and stylish, fitted with deep blue cabinets and brass fixtures, as well as white and black marble countertops. At one end of the kitchen, you'll find a lounge area and at the Opposite, there's a cozy breakfast area with banquette seating. Moving downstairs in Regina's home, the features keep on coming. There's a family room here that opens up to a terrace, and this room has space to watch TV in a laid-back setting or go read a book outside. A couple of the guest rooms surround the family room and the master suite, which has a roomy walk-in closet, a designer bathroom, and of course, more terrace access. Her bathroom is full of marble, glass, and even hardwood, making up an elegant space with glass, shower, and freestanding tub. On this level, there's also a third guest room with ensuite, which has its own door to outside as well. The lowest floor of Regina's home has a second family room or hangout space, and a fully exclusive one bedroom, one bath ado with its own address. What's an ado, you might ask? I didn't know either, but it's essentially an accessory dwelling unit or secondary housing on a single family property. They can come in many forms, but think of it as a type of guest house or cottage. A spacious laundry room and a marble pool bathroom with open shower and urinal, which is strange for a private home, complete the lower floor of Regina's home. Finally, moving out to the backyard, it's flat and grassy with features like an outdoor gym area and built-in grill. There is also a deck perfect for sunbathing, a plunge pool, and a circular spa, all surrounded by plenty of trees for privacy. So now we've taken a look at Regina King's homes in Hollywood, so I think I'll bring this house tour to an end right there. While we didn't get to see her former place, she still reportedly owns in Los Feliz. We got all the details of her current residence, and I think it was super impressive. After checking out where the actress calls home, what did you guys think? Fit for an Oscar winner or not? What did you like about her home? I think my favorite features were that grand living room with doors to outside since it's the perfect space to hang out, and I also like the guest cottage contraption with its very own address. Regina's home is just really nice with a mix of modern and high class upgrades, but still a bit of a laid back vibe inside. Be sure to let me know what you thought about her home down in the comments. If you haven't, go subscribe to my personal channel because I would love to get to know all of you better. We'll link you my latest video. Leave me a comment there and we can chat. Luca Magnotta had an obsession with the movie Basic Instincts and there were actually similarities with his murder. In 2003, he began his sporadic porn career. I think he, Luca was being cannibalistic. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and let me know whose house tours you want to see next on this channel. See you all in the next video. Bye.